Welcome back to the fine details where we go around the map to Hitman 3, take a look around and poke our nose where we shouldn't. This time we're back in Sapienza for the bonus missions The Icon and Landslide. Let's take a look around shall we? So starting with The Icon, around the map there's a lot of reference to Laventura Pictures, the made up producer of the movie. Obviously the logo makes a reference to Paramount and their logo with stars on it. However, the company name Laventura is actually the same as the 1960s film which is based off the coast of Italy. Inside the film's area there is a gift shop and one of the items it's selling is a Dino Bosco icon jigsaw puzzle which features 4,700 pieces. Obvious reference to 47 and definitely a lot bigger than normal jigsaw puzzles that are sold. Also at the entrance to the film set there is a person who is holding their mobile phone up as if they are taking a picture. However, looking at the actual phone, you can see it's on a lock screen and the very smaller detail in the top left, he actually has no connection either, which is very nice to see those fine details in there, rather than just a blank phone screen. Moving into Dino Bosco's trailer, on his table there is a helmet which bears a very strong resemblance to the one he's actually wearing, either a model or a pre-version. Also in the apartment there is some rye bread, which is obviously a very small pun because bread rises naturally. Another item on the table is a plate of spaghetti, which is the same spaghetti that's used when you're trying to poison Silvio Crusoe in the main mission. Also on the shelf in his trailer, there is a box of corn flakes, which is a reference to corn flakes, and a bottle of Hans brown sauce, a reference to Heinz brown sauce. That's all we've got for the icon. Now let's move on to landslide. Around the map, there are seven balloons that can be shot and destroyed. Destroying them all does something. I'll show you where they all are. So we've got balloon number one is here. Balloon two is over here in the ruins. Balloon number three is over at the top of this tower. Balloon four is over in this balcony bit outside the back door to the pottery shop. Blue 5 is in the Caruso courtyard and can be shot from the upstairs balcony of what would be Rocco's apartment. Balloon 6 can be found outside the main gates by looking over at the ruins, it's over on top here. And the final balloon that we have is out over in the ocean which can't actually be shot. So you need to use a well thrown explosive that when it hits the water you can blow it up, hitting the 7th balloon and giving you this. Three balloons that float around 47 for the rest of the mission that say happy birthday on them. They don't interact with the environment at all and nobody comments on them much at all so it's just a fun little visual detail really. Around the map there are some adverts for the lawyer of the map and on the bottom of them there is an address, the Piazzale Aldo Moro in Sapienza, which when put into Google Maps is actually a real place which is the University of Sapienza in Rome. The area code of 00105 even matches, so it's nice to see them putting real place references in the game. I haven't seen anyone else mention this before, so I think it's an entirely new discovery. Down outside the church, there is this sad looking dude sat on the bench. Don't worry, we're not going to cheer him up with balloons, we're going to make him jump off the pier. This is the same dude that starts a mission, the target, Marco Abbiati, basically takes his wife really. And if you turn on the radio a couple of times, it'll lead him to a lot more sadness than he's currently facing and will cause him to jump off the edge of the pier. The one result of this uh, won't actually count as a non-target kill, even though you technically caused him to jump off, and it counts as a body hidden as well, so nobody's going to find it either. This only works obviously after Marco Avietti has come around and done his part with the wife. After turning on a couple of times, you can see he stands up and basically starts running. And he runs right through the crowds, around to the pier. He runs along past everyone, and then when it gets to the end, you'll see the very dramatic dive.
and he's in. Around the map, there's a couple of safety protocols which are used to start mission stories. These safety protocols have the title of them concerning civilian usage of military aircraft. Obviously, Sapienza doesn't have any military aircraft, so what's it referencing? It's actually the same safety protocol that's used for the jet engine in the ICA facility where you cause the safety ejector seat to malfunction. Even reading the small print, which you can't read on the screen, it actually has the same steps of climb the ladder, fasten the seatbelt, and pull the ejector handle. It's very cool, really. The lawyer of the map, who has the name Salvatore Buomo, is actually a translation to Saul Goodman, a lawyer from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. Outside the town hall, there is once again a case of the developers referencing real life products with Bramble Soup, which is a reference to Campbell's, a brand of soup. And finally, for this mission, upstairs in Marco's apartment, on the desk, there is a phone with a logo on the screen. This logo looks a lot like the Unity logo, Unity being a game development program. That's all there is to see for the bonus missions of Sapienza. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll be moving on to Marrakesh, so be sure to like and subscribe for that, and I'll see you in the next one.